What is up guys, Teeth here and Teeth Gaming with uh, another TV video. Today is going to be a quick, uh, not tutorial, just kind of the basics of the uh, beta flash client uh, for Tibia. And my mouse battery would start dying right now or just skipping, I don't know. Um, but basically what you do is you go to the website, uh, log in, I've already done so, premium account, whatever, and then you go see play beta flash client, you're going to click join beta it's going to say and then it's going to give you the options. Just click over your characters. We're gonna go on my mage. And we're gonna open it up. And the first time you open it, apparently it's really slow. Uh, well, mine was really slow, but like really, really slow. But uh, this is obviously not the first time I've opened it, so it's a bit faster. Hopefully. Click to activate. Oh, I've already set everything up. Poop. But first, when you guys first um, open Flash Client, it's probably gonna look something like. Actually, you're not gonna work. Maybe is it gonna work? Why aren't you going? Oh yeah. No. I don't know, but it's gonna be across the top and you just drag it and drag it down to the side and should place it there. You can see that's my magic level. Uh where's the experience one? Or sorry, no, that is my experience, not my magic level. And then along each side, which is cool about the uh the flash client is you can have kind of like split the uh, sides, I guess the yeah the sides of the client. Like you can actually close this. I'm bringing this over here is battle list. This is VIP. Oh, Who's all in genetics? No one really online. Uh, your this is actually just your like your inventory and your attack style, which is oh, oh not anywhere right now. And so that's general. So I put, what I like to do is have my mini map basically where it always was. Uh, general over here as well. And then we're going to open up the inventory. Uh, actually, combat control is definitely going over here. Mouse, you got to stop. Oh, there we go. Toss that there, and there's even a mount option. And now we're going to set up our actual, con actual controls. So you can go over to options. Class control, a must. Graphics, uh, this highlight to object under mouse is probably going to be up somewhere. It's going to look like this, which I don't really like, so let's delete that, or get rid of that. All the way down, what scale game window do? Yeah, we definitely want to scale the game window. <laughs> Graphics, put that all the way down, I leave everything else. Uh, I don't know about ambient brightness. Oh, let's try that. Don't know if it's any different, but we'll say it is. Then we go to status, and I go for your style. This is classic, which is nothing. It's just like the original. But I like all the uh, heads-up display or the HUD. So go HUD, uh, style, classic for creatures, style. I leave the way that is. Progress bar. You can choose which, like, as you can see on the left side over here, it shows my level right now. You can choose which one. So let's go magic level. Now you can see it's my magic level, magic level 28, 59% for the next level. But I want to change that back. So we want to go level. Another cool thing about is messages. You can change the colors. So private chat is blue, spell is yellow. I want to change it to red. There better be red. What? No red? I'm severely disappointed. Spell is going to be orange. But okay, so like, that's just kind of something you can freak with. Like, I think there's a couple, yeah, you got your NBC, which is always green, yeah. Hockey, damage rollers. You guys can read through those. Now, hockey, this is where it gets different. And then ignore and import, export. You guys know that. So, as you can see, there's all these areas to go hockey's, but I like to do this one. Mostly just, actually, I really like just one. And I already set it up wrong. So, I like just along the bottom, but just kind of. I know, it's simple and it's easy to look at, I guess. We'll open up my backpack. Oh, yeah, and this one is it this button? I think it is. Is that containers? Yeah, that chooses which side things will open up on. I don't even need general controls. But you just want to go. I like to have my uh, pot as, as F6, so B6, 
We're gonna go edit action. We're gonna choose a. Actually, you can just drag and drop the pod on that. So you just go. So B6 is. I'm gonna change an F6. And even another cool thing, you can just click it. Actually, it's gotta be set to automatic. But I just left click that. Left click. Boom. Use the lag, but you want to use L action. Yeah, use an object on yourself, and then you just left click it, and use it. Kind of wasting pots there, and then oh, that's my six. That's not that it's supposed to go. I'll put you as a four. F six is my haste. Just some ra random setups I have, and you can usually go like this. You can go. What is what haste do I have? What's grant her? Uh, the great haste. Hmm, I don't remember what that is, but this is a simple way. You just go, Danny, Grant, her, automatically send. This is under B6. And then for Xero, I go, L action. This is, this is what's easier, like you go, so that'd be light healing. Uh, let's see. Heal friend, ice wave, ignite light healing so this is kind of cool because like it's got its own little uh, what to call it a graphic or yes or sprite so it tells you all about cool down one second action action button and b2 is going to be zero grand so what was this great healing oh fuck oops not i don't even remember what these are called Intense healing. Yes, that's what we're looking for. Okay. And B3 would be an attack. So we'll go Xor V. Which is... Energy Strike? Possibly? Yeah. So we'll just set that up for a bit. And... Now, this is what you have to remember. Or be careful about. Because this is how one of my friends died when he tried Flash Client. To actually set up... Like, see how they say B5? Which is... What does that mean? You have to set up each uh, hockey... So B, I'm gonna go F1, okay. So obviously it's BF2, unless you have some other that you'd like to do. I just like to go keep it simple, okay. F3, and just it, pretty simple. Just click on Edit Hockey and then press the button. See, it says Edit Hockey for use action button four. So just click. I want F4, so I'll just click F4 on my keyboard. Brings it up. And F6. We want to, actually, we may as well set them all up. F5. Add action. F6. So. R6. Yeah, it's okay. But now, so we'll test them. Let's try F6. Boom. We're good. And Jakal casts. We're hasted. Now, something co else that's really cool about this that gives you more. Uh, variety in your uh, hotkeys because if you have more than one character it's hard for you to set up the hotkeys that work for all of them so if you i play a knight and a source so a sork source sounds weird uh sork or sorcerer so i'd set up my sorcerer's hotkeys and i'd call it actually what is it how do you do this again oh for pete's sake i would forget this and hockey oh yeah so see there's set one we're gonna name this cancel Set one is going to be Jakal. So we go OK. So now we should see down there Jakal. And now we want to go Edit Hockey, make another one for Bro Teeth. My Knight. Cancel. Add. Yeah, we want to set its default. And we call it Bro Teeth. And we go OK. So now we can switch between. Bro Teeth is empty. Jakal stays the same. And we just go to switch characters and. Uh, of course, set up the hockeys again for the other character, which kind of makes uh oh, I'm only a sorcerer, not a master sorcerer, but uh, it makes the beta like the flash client kind of more f not user friendly, but it makes it easier for someone that plays multiple characters. Uh, it is kind of it does have its bugs, but once it's figured out, I'm pretty sure it'll be a fairly widely used uh, client rather than the original. Uh, that's probably all. I just want to give a quick run through this of what the no or not the knowledge of what I know about it anyway, which is very little. I, I use it the odd time, like but as you've seen I didn't have any hockey set up, so 
Uh, that's probably all. I'm going to have another video up tomorrow. Actually, maybe two or three tomorrow. One's going to be my, my new setup video, like my gaming situation. Uh, so stay tuned. Hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Alright, peace, guys.